hey. For those of you that haven't seen any of my videos before, welcome to my channel. And we're out in the area around Dennywood today. We're going for a walk here, it's absolutely stunning here, just as the new forest should be. It's a mixed woodland, or forest I should say, a mixed forest of Scots pines, silver birch, beech, oak, loads of different trees, it's beautiful. And uh, they've got lots and lots of sphagnum moss bogs here. Really nice, really lovely habitat. So we thought we'd take you for a little walk to see what we see, to see what turns up. Say no agenda, might not see anything. You never know, you might see something. So anyway, come along and I hope you enjoy this little nature walk with us. Obviously we're just out on our walk. And I spotted something rather unusual fly across the path. Now, first I didn't believe my eyes. But in the tree up ahead is a hawfinch. And I've just managed to get one clear shot through a load of branches of it. I'm well stoked. Hawfinches are our biggest finch. They're huge finch terms. And they're really, really beautiful. Now this is a the bird watchers out there amongst you will know exactly how, how excited I am now. So we're going to hang around here for a little while and see if we can see some more of it. Absolutely stunning. And I'll put the picture up now of it so you can have a look and see what sort of bird it looks like. Beautiful. Happy days. seen it again not seen it again it literally flew out landed on a scots pine branch I, I, see, I thought what's that it was literally there for seconds i thought that's unusual went click 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 through a load of branches as you see and the third shot was in focus whoa freaking cool i'm well excited right just found something else to show you i'll flip you around one second So what this is, there's a sparrowhawk kill. Now, why isn't the body there? Because it would have been secondary predated by a fox, most probably, running along this track. Because badgers and foxes like using tracks and trails and generally a badger's trail usually gets turned into a road or footpath because it's so well worn. Now you can see where the feathers, if you can see this, see where the feathers have been slightly squashed and plucked out and scuffed up. And there's a, an arrangement of the fluffy feathers, what it would have done, the breast feathers, it would have killed the bird, turned it over. They usually eat the head and then what they do is pluck all the breast feathers out, which is what you can see here, and some of the other feathers, and then feed on the breast meat quickly because it's nice and soft and there's a lot of it there, and then get out quick before anything comes along and gets it. So you'll generally find a little collection of fluffy feathers like this, and some larger ones as they're plucking out. But if you see feathers that have been really sort of look like they've been wetted really badly so say you put it in a sink and washing up with liquid and squinch it squidge it up together and then put it down that would generally be where a fox has plucked it out because it's got a lot more saliva glands and it's salivating because of the the food it's just about to eat so as it's pulling the feathers out it munches the feathers up crushes them puts holes in them and makes the uh, the feathers really damaged and chewed up but these are pretty clean clean feathers here so that'd be a sparrowhawk kill of a pigeon 
secondary predated by, I'm assuming a fox, but that's just speculation, because I didn't see it. That's a cool little thing, eh? Let's carry on. Nice road, though. We stand in very still. And she knows we're here, but she can't really see us. The wind's swirling around in the woodland here, so... She's quite at ease with us. Right, let's leave her to it. That and that little patch of sunlight, it's a green tiger beetle. How cool is that? Brilliant, eh? We Stop for a bit of lunch on a fallen Scots pine. This lovely little woodland glade, the sun's on our faces, it's absolutely stunning. But we stopped here because there's a lot of little speckled wood butterflies flying around. They're one of my favourite little butterflies. You usually see them spinning around in little forest glades where there's a patch of sunlight. I'm just gonna sit here for a little while, see what floats by, and see if I can get some photographs of these beautiful butterflies. Can't beat it, absolutely lovely, really quiet here. They're flying about. Let's see if I can get some for you. Show you. off the beaten track a bit. I hate walking on footpaths. And uh, just come across this beautiful little pond. It's lovely. Loads of insects here. Whirligig beetles skidding around on the surface. Pond skaters rowing backwards and forwards looking for insects to eat. Absolutely stunning. Gorgeous little damselflies flying around. Too sure what they are actually, I'll have to look one up. Just got some shots of it, I'll put them up at the end of this bit. But I do like There's something about water in there. Standing here looking over there, you see all the whirly gig beetles, which are those little black shiny beetles that skid around on the surface in little, little circular motions, whirling around. Whirly gig beetles, lovely name, isn't it? And back to the van now. But uh, just thought I'd show you this next little bit. Bit of impromptu filming on Sammy's iPhone as I lifted a piece of wood up. Have a look at this, pretty cool. Oh, what's that there? Yeah, there. Yeah. Show them. Show them. Oh, yeah, what, 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 get a video of it. Look at this. I'll leave that one. You've got a video doing it? A video in any way. Right. God, look at the air out of face. What a nice little surprise. I just turned a piece of bark over, as you do, around the forest. And I found a baby slow worm. Look at that beautiful creature. Look at that. They're so beautiful at this age. Look at that golden shine along his back. 
Absolutely fantastic. Now these are legless lizards, not snakes. You have to be a bit careful because they can shed their tail. And the tail, when it falls off, it wiggles really strongly. And uh, the predators generally go for that while the, while the animal disappears. I won't hold him too long. But he's actually a legless lizard. Not a snake, because he's got eyelids. I'm gonna put him down now, because he's not too happy. Let him slide away into there, so there we go. Off you go, little mate. Go down that little crack, look, there you go. Go on. How cool's that? Nice little bit of natural history there. Just turn it back over. You always put your log back over, or whatever you turn over. There you go, sorted. Let's see what else we can find. This is a dog's vomit. Oh, it's a slime mold anyway. And these things actually move. They're not fungus, they're not plant, they're not an animal. They're a slime mold. And what they do, they move across the bark, ingesting all the bacteria and stuff on the surface of the bark. That's bloody cool, isn't it? And that'll go like that, and then it'll go into like a dusty, yellowy form. And then it's generally you just see the outline of them later on in the year and that'll go to a load of dust, but yeah, mad. Come on, mate. Just come out for a walk at the end of the day and found a pair of mandarin ducks. What a day. Stunner. There we go. Happy days to die.